<laughs> I'm ballsy. What up, it's Shankster94, and welcome back to my full play of Resident Evil Outbreak. Resident Evil. So in this playthrough, we'll be playing the Below Freezing Point scenario once again, and this time with the canonical character of the scenario, Yoko Suzuki. Alright, so this will be our first time using Yoko. She is a student, and she can hold more items at one time. So. One thing I'll share with you guys is Yoko was my original favorite character in Outbreak, and that is specifically because she had the ability to hold twice as many items in her inventory. Her special action includes a crawl away, so if you feel like you can't fight the enemies, you can use this maneuver to possibly get away. In harder difficulties though, I don't think it works that well. She's also one of the slowest characters in the game, and potentially the weakest. But anyway, she's the canonical character of this scenario, so let's get on with it. Yeah. Very enthusiastic, Yoko. And we're gonna up the difficulty a notch and play in normal mode, so here we go. But once again, we're gonna skip all cutscenes we've already seen, so skip. I'll let cutscenes involving Yoko play out. Uh-huh. What? Did you find any? No, not yet. Oh my god. Skip. I just want to demonstrate Yoko's knapsack here. That's four extra items. And here's her crawl away. <laughs> yep, I crawled into the next room. Alright, I'll let this play out. Monica? I didn't expect you to return. After your little incident, I assumed that you went and hid under a rock like the little child that you are. What is that capsule? Wait, wait! Are you after this too? Hmm, you are, aren't you? Oh, you are so- Stop it. I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Don't play the innocent little girl with me. You can't fool me. You could never fool me. But maybe we can work something out. Give me your ID card. Yoko, you little lifesaver. I'm so glad we had this chance to catch up. Too bad these pre-rendered cutscenes are quite pixelated in this quality. Have a nice life. What's left of it? No, not yet. Are you feeling I just had a thought. Hey, hey. What? Hi. Are you all right? All right, so there's no handgun here in normal mode. Did you see what Alyssa's text said right there? Hey. Hello there. Excuse me. <laughs> I wonder if that's faster. Probably not. Hey, hey, listen. Whoa. Oh my god. Just do it. Oh, I was hoping that would happen eventually. Hey, but yeah, hey. that's just a random thing that could occur. I don't think that's an event, though, unfortunately. It totally should be, though. Oh, um. Alright, so this is where Yoko starts. Oh. Right near the V-Jolt stuff. Well, that's cool. I'll get that. Go to hell! Hey. Hey there. Hey there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a zombie in here on normal mode. At least that killed him first hand. I'm grabbing this gun. 
Okay, Alyssa, come here. You can have these. Thank you very much. Yeah. Take a blue herb. Why not? Hi. What? Is there no way to open this? Listen. All right. Let's see if the code's still the same. I'm pretty sure it is. No shit. Nine. Just do it. Seven. Four one. Yep, it's the same. Sweet. As you can clearly see, Yoko is pretty slow here. No. Nice, Alyssa. I'll take those handgun rounds. And the screen room. Was funny looking. No shit. Just do it. She also can't handle the weapon too well. Okay, so something I want to mention is I already got a majority of the events, so there's only going to be one, maybe two new events you'll see in this playthrough. That is it. And only one of them has mainly to do with Yoko herself. This is where 45 auto rounds are. Thanks to Noel Vermillion for pointing that out for me in the comment section. But I'm not Kevin anymore, so that's pointless. It's a red herb here instead of a first aid spray. Dangerous liquid. This may be something. Yeah. Me. Give me a break. Hey, hey, listen. Hey, hey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just come on. Excuse me. Here. Is there no way to open this? Oh, um... What's wrong? Oh my god. Huh? What's wrong? I should be more afraid. Well, I don't have that on hand anymore. Just do it. Hello there. Hey. 
There you are, George. What's wrong? Hey there. If anything, you got nothing except an herb. I found some information. Give me those, Alyssa. You don't need them. This is it. I found something strange. Thank you. Is there no way to open this? I d listen. No iron pipe there. Another handgun here. Oh my god. Hold your horses. Hello there. George. Good. Alyssa. Come on. No. What? Give me a break. I just had a thought. May I have it? This is it. Excuse me. Hate how I have to do this. Alright. We need to go get the wrench. Oh my god. Is there no way to open this? Let's go ahead and input the code since we know all of them. <laughs> Let's see if the same one works first. <laughs> what do you know? Both of them are following me. Hey, you! What the fuck, George? Just had a th Come on, never. Excuse me. Nope, not you, George. Thank you. It can't be. Hey, hey. George has got nothing now. There's a knife right here, George. Come on. There we go. Now he's got something. George, an iron pipe would actually be better. But, of course, Liz is gonna take it, so. Excuse me. Hey there. So, yeah, Jim's an asshole, and Alyssa can be a bitch. What is that? I found some information. Hey! May I have it? This is it. May I have it? This is it! Thanks. May I have it? This is it. I just had a thought. No shit! There's gotta be a special item in here somewhere. Not that I care too much, but it'd be nice to discover it. I'm trying so hard, as you guys can see. <laughs> but, yeah, too much. It's futile. Is there no... I just had a thought. Oh, um... <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. 
Swap those two. Hey there. Is there no way to open this? Hello there. I just had a hey. <sighs> Man, I really wish I can give a certain quantity to him. is give that first aid spray to that guy so I can get the shotgun because the shotgun may be useful especially in normal mode and with a weak character like Yoko so hmm, I'm actually going to do this give Alyssa the rounds This way would probably be faster. What? <sighs> what? Please, is anyone there? Hey, hey. Oh yeah, I have no handgun rounds. Alright, I'm gonna go down and do this real quick. Yoko has a knapsack. Oh my god. I forgot about that. And I didn't have to give Alyssa those handgun rounds now that I think about it. I cannot believe I forgot that. <sighs> Whatever. She only had two bullets anyway, so... Oh, let me just use this first. Because then I can get rid of it. Another shotgun right here. Come here, Alyssa. I just had a thought. Well, here's something. This is it. I need to have that shotgun. Give me that knife, George. This is it. You have a handgun. Giving us a Magnum handgun. 
Alright, well, yeah, I'm definitely taking that. Stay back. No. Alyssa, you are stupid. Just plain stupid. Oh, so it appears she doesn't need to use this, so this room is pointless. Alright. Well, a potential event I wanted to trigger won't happen in that circumstance, so hopefully next playthrough. Alyssa, I'm about to take that damn shotgun away from you if you fucking... Fucking AI is can be stupid in this game. Yeah, she can just die for all I care. Just do it. Don't touch me. Well, I was lucky. Get hit. No shit. Hey. Okay, so <laughs> I was hoping that wasn't going to happen, but you know what? At the same time, George being there all of a sudden just added a little bit of variety, so it's alright. I'll live, but hey, and we got blue herbs here, so this will be easily fixed. Bam, just like that. I just hate that I have to backtrack. Green herb. I'm gonna give you these. She even has a number. What? Oh, um. Hi. No shit. What? Well. Stop. 
You're dead now. Warm it up in here. Is there no way to open this? Oh, um. Excuse me. <laughs> she needs two hands. Actually, go back to the security center and activate the turntable using hope. I want to see if anything different happens. Is there no way to open this? Huh? I found some information. I just had a thought. Just making sure to get out of the room in time before the hunter attacks anyone. Serious, you started me all the way to the top. Excuse me. Here's something peculiar. I know this is taking up a lot more time, but hey, this isn't the speedy run. really didn't have to follow me. Because of this, I'm gonna have to deal with these hunters. Skip. Alright, I'm gonna have to deal with these hunters. I guess not that one. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, and one right there. That was fine. Alright, I'm done using the handgun. Oh, 
Oh god. Bitch. Don't need that. Don't need that either. Is there no way to open this? All personnel. The planet's going up. Hey! Leave more down. Skip. Wow. Wow. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Good. <sighs> they literally say the same exact things, at least in voice. Alright, let's give the Magnum some usage. Whoa, you guys suck. Ow! Look at Alyssa being a dumb broad and just walking up against it. No, you're a bitch. So Alyssa probably came close to dying right there, for all we know. Or at least being put into dying state. So even though she had an association, she can't remember what it was. Alrighty then, so get more points because it was a slightly harder difficulty. <laughs> really dinged me on the time I took. Don't know why, because even though I did digress a little bit during that playthrough, I still remained pretty much straightforward. But whatever, this game can be very strict sometimes. Alright, so if I view the event checklist, let's see, the one, the one event that was different from every playthrough so far is got the item from Staffer 2, Yoko. In the next playthrough I'll try to get the event where you're in the computer room when the moth gets somebody else because they could actually take one of your partners too. It happens randomly, but I'm hoping to achieve that in the next playthrough. Anyway, let's exit. It was something in the costume. Hmm. You know, I need to check the collection again. It's been a while. Let me see the event checklist. 88%. Almost done with below freezing point. If I go back to Outbreak, that one's 87%. Pretty good on both of these scenarios so far. Alright, let's real quickly check the collection. That must be it. Alright, so it was just that one little costume. Alrighty then, people, that was my playthrough of Below Freezing Point and Normal with Yoko Suzuki, the canonical character. Even though she doesn't bring much difference to the scenario necessarily, all of her cutscenes are already there, and we've seen them already, so... I don't know. But that was nice getting the Magnum handgun, so I'll give it that. Alright, so next playthrough will be the last one of Below Freezing Point, at least until we unlock harder difficulties, and I will be playing through it with my least favorite character of this game, Jim Chapman. So, <laughs> look forward to that.
Alright, this is Shankster94, aka the Gamer Shankster. Rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shankster underscore 94. Check out my Facebook page and support me on Patreon. Shout out to Wyatt, also known as the one and only W, for being my one and only patron. And yeah, once again, I'm sounding very quiet for particular reasons, but should be fine. Alright, peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video.